Hello, welcome back to the channel. So I'm in Mangili. It's about 5.30 at night on a Wednesday. And um, just watching the people go by, watching what's happening. Just literally, if you haven't watched the channel before, I've literally come from the north in Nosy B on taxi, taxi buses. About four of them are used to get to Tulia, which is um, 2,000 kilometers, just under 2,000 kilometers on really bad roads. Some of the roads you can only do like 10 kilometers an hour, 20 kilometers an hour for like half an hour, an hour or something like that. So it's a bit of a nightmare that. But um, I eventually arrived. I was ill ha halfway down the trip. I was, I was, I didn't know whether I had malaria, whether I had COVID, whether I had heat stroke, whether I had just some random bug. I didn't know what I had, but I got proper ill on the taxi bus. Like, and I was like, for the first time ever, I'm pretty hardcore normally on taxi buses. And if you're going to use taxi buses in Madagascar, you've got to be a real strong person. Because if you're not, you're going to piss blood. Simple as that. And I'm not joking about that. I'm serious. I've done it. It's, it's, a, it's, it's in a hairy, it's really strong. A hard, hard journey. Yeah. But... I did it in four days with being ill on the first day. I stayed in a hotel overnight and got some medicine from the pharmacy because I really, I really did believe I might be dead. I don't know. But I survived it. I've arrived. I've been to Tulia. I've checked out my bar. Um, I've been a bit down this morning, like, because I, I bought some land four years ago off some woman and um, she asked if she could buy it back. And I was like, yeah, I'm selling it. So, yeah, you can buy it back. Um, I cut somebody else out the deal so she could buy it all herself, the whole lot back. And um, there was about, I'd bought about eight different terrains, eight different lands off her family. Or, or maybe even ten, say ten different lands off her family. And I, she wanted to buy all ten to put it back in the family name. So I said, no problem. And she said, um, I'll give you the money bit by bit. I'll pay you, pay you in the next couple of months. And I said, no problem, that's all right. Two months, I'm happy, pay us. So she did, she started paying. And then the 10, 10 lands are on 10 different um, documents, right, each one, because they were bought at different times. So you've got 10 deeds, right? And anyway, she stole one of the deeds from the land that she'd sold to me on the hope I wouldn't spot it, and it would save her $200. And I'm like, I can't believe she, because I, I left the paperwork with me wife's auntie to deal with it. And she's quite a trustworthy, lovely woman. And she just trusted the woman. And she must have left the room for a minute and gone to the other room to get a cup of tea or whatever for the woman. And she swiped the piece of paper, which is a big problem because if you ain't got a piece of paper, you ain't got a piece of land. So now I'm stuck in a deal, but I do have her money to buy the rest of the land, but she's just down. She needs to pay three million rest and she thinks she only has to pay two million because she stole one million's worth of paperwork. So we're gonna have fun and games. So I've been a bit down about that because there's no need for it. She just did, didn't need to do it, but she's a horrible person, like, and she's known for being a really tight, horrible person. So what can you do? But I'll win, I'll win in the end because I've got a plan up my sleeve for that. So anyway, I've come to Mangili. I've checked my bar in Tulia. My bar's sound, it's all good. They've done a good job on it. It's ready to sell. It needs a bit more to finish it all off, but you can keep going and going and going. And at the moment, you can see it's a good quality bar. You need a little bit of work. You can put your own touch to it. It's a blank canvas bar, and you could even use it as a kindergarten. You could use it as a motorbike repair shop. You could use it as a bicycle repair shop. Um, you could use it as many, many things like. So you could. Um, it's, a, it's a good business opportunity for somebody to buy. And I thought to myself, I must have put about 80 million into it. And to be honest with you, I, I, I did want to make profit, obviously. But I just want my money out of it. If, um, I'm happy to break even and just get my money out of it. And Because basically I was using the piece of land as a kind of bank account for years. And then I decided to I'll come into a bit more money. I thought I'll, I'll build a bar on it yeah, and increase the value again. And now I've got water supply to it as well. So that's increased the value. But somebody else, there's still, there's still money in the deal for somebody else to come along, finish the bar, and get a full book 
so they've got full paperwork for it because my paperwork is like half halfway their paperwork yeah which is like most people have but if you get the full way done paperwork it's yours it's in your name it's the same as owning a piece of land near enough the same as owning a piece of land in, in America or in England it's in your name and that so I'm happy with um, with selling it and I worked it out I added it all up it's worth I have made about 50% on it just in materials because the materials have gone up in price by at least 50% since I built the bar and that so I should make about 40 million off it if I sell it for 120 million which is 30,000 US dollar I'll make 10,000 US dollar because it's um, 20 million 20,000 US dollar into the deal so it's all right I suppose uh, but the problem is the reason I'm selling it is I've moved to Madi I've moved to Nosy B yeah which is 2,000 kilometers away and I can't just keep coming to Tuliar every month to check on me buildings to run me business it's too far away yeah and there's no agents that I can trust to put in in the deal and run the business for me so what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to have to sell it and then also Bar Sewer in Mangili. Realistically, I could sell it as it is, but let's have a look how it is. Yeah, This is the um, the staircase to go up to the bar. You've got a bar downstairs there and then the, on the road. I'm going to build another shop on the downstairs as well and rent that out. Yeah, Or I was going to. And then this from here, you have the nightclub. So you've got your own staircase going up. And then the front door here to the nightclub, you've got a big seating area or dance floor area here. Then you've got here, you've got a staircase going down there, right? A, a wash, um, toilet area here. And then at the back here, when you come down the stairs, there'll be enough to, room to go to the toilet area or you can walk down this bit here, along here and you're into the, the, the downstairs nightclub, yeah? All this area here will be the downstairs nightclub. And then here, from this floor, I'll have the staircase, yeah, which is coming down there. And then I'll have a, a, a walkway here, in the middle somewhere maybe, right? Where you can walk across into the upstairs area. And I'm hoping to have um, a viewing balcony about here where you can look down onto the dance floor and see the people dancing downstairs so that's what I'd like and I'd like to also build this up here in an escalator to a third floor where you've got another area on the third floor there for sitting chilling out a chill out zone maybe so you've got the dance floor and then on top of that toilet area there from here up to where the es up to where the escalator is going to go up to upstairs there I'll have a big bar area here for all the beers, all the all the fridges, the staff, the till, everything there in the middle. Happy days. And probably a walkway. Obviously, if I've got a centre bit, I'm going to have a walkway with tables and chairs all the way around the top there, coming all the way down to here. It'll be, it should be pretty big. It should be a nice big discotheque. Yeah, and then I've got the bar downstairs, and then just under this bit where you see the different coloured cement along here, Probably, no, probably, probably here, I took about here, from about here, all the way to there, which I guess is about one, two, three, four, five metre, right? Five metre, coming back to here, all the way, is going to be another downstairs shop. So maybe a, a hairdresser's, could be anything, literally anything, anything you want. But I don't know whether I'm going to get to um, live my dream. But I can't sell it like this. It's just not right. Because this one does have full paperwork. And this is... This could be the number one discotheque bar in in Mangili. And Mangili's massive. There's loads of people here and they love to drink. They're happy to spend the money. They don't earn a lot of money, but they're happy to spend the money and buy alcohol. So, there you go. Let's have a look downstairs while we're here, innit? Have a quick look and I'll end this video. Downstairs you've got this bar here. It's a bit dark probably, with no lights, but you, there is a, an electric post there. Right next to me bar. Yeah. So I can get electric in a day, one day, because it's a little private company in Mangili who deals with it. There's a, a bathroom there, 
you should have smell cal ca smell television if you smell that it doesn't smell too clever that bathroom you can't see in here because i ain't got i'm not trying to turn the torch on unfortunately i ain't got a light but that's a, that's the bar you can see the windows there and the windows there it's quite big it's about four meter by four meter bar and there's a little storage area there and then round the back there's a, a there's a toilet there and then there's going to be that shop there which yet again you can't really see in but there's a small room here and then a big room at the front there so i'm going to open that front up put a door and a window in it should be laughing when it's finished so there you go i'm happy to be back i'm feeling better i've started eating i'm feeling a little stronger and um i'm ready for action like we're gonna kill this like i'm here for two weeks in in tulia mangili i'm gonna kill it i'm literally gonna kill it watch and see watch the next videos you're gonna love it nice two weeks ahead